Hi, my name is Sarah and we are here with all things dating and relationships and today we're going to talk about five ways that you can go through the holiday season without a boyfriend. I just want to start with one of my favorite, which is to offer a quick and very loving reality check that singleness is not God's second best. In a season full of love and seemingly perfect Christmas photos and people kissing and laughing and getting engaged and getting married and announcing a baby, marriage is not the superior way of living life. You are totally allowed to struggle back and forth with God in your relationship on this very topic. Real conversation is actually how we grow in real relationships anyway, but you are not being condemned to a lesser way of life because you are not married right now. Life is still very much able to be lived fully and that is fully available to you. Tip number two is that in going through the holidays, which is very curated on social media, can be really, really hard. This is a stretch of weeks of great desolation for many people, maybe including yourself, and that's okay if you're one of those people. Just know that this desolation is not a place where we make big decisions, draw conclusions about ourselves or where we are, rely on as being the truth about our lives, or use as a true measurement for how we are doing in our life. We do all those things in times of consolation when the fog is lifted, but not right now. The intrusive thoughts that you're perhaps having are not true, they're just intrusive. Tip number three is something fun. Throw a holiday party. Open up your home, offer service to those around you who you love, and have a party. Tip number four, reach out to a group of friends and start a community. Begin it in January. Maybe it's a book club. I'm personally in one and it's awesome. I have never done anything better for myself. Maybe it's listening to Father Mike Schmidt's podcast, Catechism in a Year, and then keeping up with it daily, meeting up with your friends on a weekly basis. Maybe it's picking a themed party, get together, whatever have you, and then deciding to host it monthly. Whatever calls your name the loudest, follow it. And tip number five that, um, just to share, there was a time during the pandemic that I was met with the notion that sometimes you have to fight for joy. You have to actively choose it every single day. Sometimes it comes naturally and abundantly, and that's amazing. And sometimes it doesn't, um, and that can be really, really difficult. That though does not mean you cannot experience it. I know it seems kind of ironic, but we have to sometimes choose and fight for joy. So I wanna ask you, what brings you joy? And start with the little things. Is it being outside in the morning? Is it just being in the sunshine? Is it listening to music, having Christmas everywhere in your house? The holiday season, you know, flowing everywhere. Music constantly playing. Is it having fresh flowers in every room of your home? What is it? These little, little things, it doesn't make them silly. What brings you joy? And I want to invite you to do every single one of those things. Constantly listen to music. Get flowers in your home, every single room, if that's what makes you really happy. Go outside, make a point to do that every single morning, the first thing you do. Do things that you know for a fact will bring you joy and use that as the work to make it happen. I know it, again, it doesn't really make a ton of sense when you first encounter that idea, but hey, it works. And then eventually you won't have to work so much for that joy. Eventually it will just come. But these times are hard. It's not you. It's a lot of emotion, a lot of nuance, a lot of dynamics, a lot of curation on social media that, oh my gosh, is not real. <laughs> Can we just say that? Um, remind yourself of that as well. It's not real. You just have no idea what goes on behind those images and the filters and... They could be going through fantastic things, but that doesn't mean you can't either. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below what you think of my five ways and how you have found we used to get through the holidays as well, sans boyfriends. We can do it. It is within our power and I wish you guys happy holidays. We'll see you next time.